gonna ask for a cocktail. Three, two, one, action. As he lands presents most of what you need to know about philosophy in around five minutes. The word philosophy tells us why the subject matters. It's originally a word from ancient Greek. The first part, philo, means love. The second part, sophia, means wisdom. So philosophy means quite literally the love of wisdom. But what does wisdom mean? Let's begin at the beginning, shall we? Plato. For Plato, the essence of living a wise life came down to the command to know yourself. His big idea was that our lives so often go wrong because we don't give ourselves time to think carefully and logically, meaning that we often end up with the wrong values, careers, and relationships. I want to marry the princess. You marry the princess? <laughs> Plato observed how proud people were about their instincts, making snap decisions based on how they felt. He compared this to being dragged along by a group of blindfolded wild horses. Taoism. Taoism, or the way, is based on the concept of Wu Wei, which means non-doing or doing nothing. But it doesn't mean being lazy. Wu Wei is connected to reverence for the natural world. We should behave like the bamboo that bends in the wind or the plant that adjusts itself to the shape of a tree. Instead of trying to force things, we must put our egos aside to be at one with the environment. We can be like water, which is submissive and weak, but has the power to wear down what is hard and strong. Stoicism. Stoicism flourished for around 400 years in ancient Greece and Rome, but it's still a useful guide for teaching us how to be calm and brave in these uncertain and anxious times. What we need to do is systematically and intelligently crush every last vestige of hope. It is far better, the Stoics propose, to courageously come to terms with every worst possibility and then make ourselves entirely at home with them, embracing what could happen if our worst fears came true. We would cope. Vogue break! <laughs> Machiavelli. Machiavelli said wicked people use lies, threats, and violence to get their way. And that's why they rule the world. Machiavelli's most famous book, The Prince. The Prince gave advice to princes who ran things in those days on how to get things done. The prince was not a guide to being a tyrant. It's a guide about what nice people need to learn from tyrants so they can be effective. Mansell? Nietzsche. Nietzsche's boldest assertion was that God is dead and we killed him. This was not some kind of boast. Nietzsche thought that religious beliefs were very useful, and he called for a reformation in which people would fill the gaps created by the disappearance of religion with the wisdom and healing beauty of culture. Existentialism. The existentialists focused on the agony of choice. They asked us to reject the delusion that perfection is within reach. That sinking feeling that we had the option to choose correctly but failed is an illusion. Disappointment is just an inevitable characteristic of the human condition. <sighs> <laughs> Philosophy used to be cool, with people like Socrates out in the streets in ancient Greece asking people real questions and discussing big ideas. Over time, those big ideas have become stuck in universities and debated by people with no interest in actually improving the world. But the internet is turning the tables and philosophy is back, baby, with ordinary people asking deep questions and discussions just like this one. Right here on YouTube. So now that you've had a crash course in what philosophy actually is, catch up on the rest of the series as some of YouTube's most popular creators tackle some of philosophy's most intriguing ideas. Right here on The School of Life. Want to know more? Of course you do. Click the link below.